Hey guys, Damon Camario with Camario Corporation again. Um, <clears throat> I'm over here at another floor plan in Chapel Hill, the Verisi plan. At a different stage though. This is at framing stage. We've actually got insulation in it. If you see sweat on my forehead, guys, it's because it's uh, in the 90s here in Kansas and I'm in a house with zero air conditioning, no air movement. Uh, you go upstairs and it's about 110 or 115. It's pretty miserable. So, but I wanted to get you through here to have you check it out and point out some things that um, I noticed and some things that we have an inspector. The city inspector here has pointed out that we needed to get remedied. And so I thought it'd be kind of neat to show you guys um, basically what's going on in the house and uh, go from there. Show you these framing issues that we needed to get remedied for our inspection. Make sure the house is secure, stable, and engineered and built the way it's supposed to. All right, so here is a built out in the second floor bedroom. And the issue that we had was the weight distribution from the roof up here, carrying down into this angle, into these beams, was not um, built strong enough to withhold that weight. And so what we needed to do was go back and do what they call sister, um, sister the two by sixes into the ceiling. So if you see right up here, we basically sistered. So we had one that was existing and we basically put another one right next to it and a third and nailed those together and then allowed that weight to be distributed from the point load, following that all the way up into the ceiling, all the way down, you see in the wall to this point right here. And then it continues on down behind the insulation there into the floor problem solved. So we needed to do that, simple kind of fix, um, but it was it's important so that everything is built the way it needs to be. Uh, <clears throat> figured I'd just go do a little quick walkthrough. So there's a pocket door. This floor plan has quite a few of them. That's the actual frame inside the wall that gets drywalled over across those slats. And so the pocket door actually slits through here, but you just see this actually just gets covered in drywall so you don't actually see that. People wonder why, you know, light switches may be moved around a little bit when there's pocket doors. Um, it's because the pocket door frames actually take up the wall space and don't allow us to put switches in here because if we had a switch box inside this wall, it would actually hit the door, therefore render it useless. So that's why. And uh, in this plan, there's probably four or five pocket doors. Here's a picture of the vault we've shown in the other one. You see what it looks like before we actually put those beams in it. Big two-story landing. All right, let's go downstairs real quick. Check out some more stuff. So this house is framed, insulated. Mechanical electrical plumbing has been put in. There's another pocket door frame, as you see. All we're waiting is for the city inspector to come sign off on what we did up there after we get a letter from the engineer. And we'll be good to go ahead and start drywalling moving forward. This house will actually be on the parade of homes uh, coming up this fall. There's a jacuzzi tub, we showed in the other one. You see all the plumbing underneath there. Got our copper line for the ground. It's going down here to a plug so that it gets its power. Here's your actual plumbing. So this is the dual sink in the master bathroom. So we got a drain right here, the drain there, and we've got the red is the hot, the white is the cold. You see we've got our light fixture mounts up there. Also, that's an actual vent, the pipe running vertical here. Um, basically that lets the sewer gas smell out, vents it up around here. And as you see, it continues on. It goes right up there through the roof. That, that foil looking um, hose you see up there, that's basically the vents for the um, exhaust fans in the bathroom. So per code, we have to exhaust that to the outside of the house. So if you see that kind of continues over and goes to the soffit. Back in the day, they used to do it to where um, it would exhaust out in the attic. But the problem that we figured out and ran into was people use those to get the moisture out of their bathrooms when the shower's going or the tub's going. And that was releasing that moisture into the attic. And it was causing a moisture mold possibility problem inside the attics. And so even though it's a big space, but over time, it starts to build up and causes an issue, so now we just vent it to the outside. So You see here's our fireplace in this one, 36 inch. We've got the vent that goes uh, all the way up through the roof. See that big vent there is like 12 inch. That's what 
what it looks like before it gets covered up. Here's our ceiling detail. We probably pointed out in the previous videos. So we've got what we call a coffered ceiling. So you see how we frame that down. It's got like an eight inch drop and then another eight inch drop. And we'll do some nice wood drilling, ceiling treatments in there. Thanks for watching guys. As always, hit the subscribe button, post a comment, follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Pinterest, House, Twitter, or LinkedIn. Share it with a friend or visit our website at www.camariocorp.com. Or if you want the real thing, check out our available homes page on our website for homes you can actually tour.